So today we're going to go over how to make animations in Flip a Clip. A Flip a Clip is an app available on the iOS and Android store. I have the paid version of the app so I don't have to have the watermark and I think there's some other things that are enabled by buying the full app. I don't really know. Uh, if you have any issues with things that you're not able to do that I demonstrate, that's probably the reason why. Uh, I think it's a few dollars to buy right now. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project. I'm going to call it Test 3. You can name yours whatever you want. I'm going to choose a background. I'm going to select a kind of crumpled paper background. I'm going to change the resolution, the canvas size over here, and I'm going to make it um, 1080 by 1080. So that's fine for me. And then I'm going to leave the frames per second at 12. And, uh, or as they call it, an animation twos, because it's uh, two frames for every frame of animation in the 24 frames a second. Um, standard so 12 frames a second should be good create project project created okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a drawing and this is gonna be the first drawing on the first layer of my animation and it's a little person and if I uh, select down here in the bottom right you can see the layers I can add a new layer if I want I'm not going to yet um, but this is my first frame of animation. Okay, so now I'm going to select this little plus icon next to the frame, and this will add a new empty frame. And I can copy, I can select the first frame and copy all of it by selecting this icon up on the upper right. And then I can paste it with this other icon up the upper right. So now I have two frames of animation that are identical. Uh, and then I can paste another one and paste it again. Another option for copying a frame would be to select the frame itself and then hit copy and then hit paste down here. So that's another way to do it. So now I have four frames of the same animation. And um, I can now start to make changes where I could make changes to the, one of the frames. Instead of redrawing every frame, I'm just going to select part of the frame. Ooh. Select the arm itself and then I'm going to rotate it down and I'll do that with the other arm too the other option so this will give me one frame of animation where the arms are moving down and then I'm going to do that another way so I'm going to paste a whole new frame so I'm going to insert a new frame with this icon and then so now I have a blank frame and I'm just going to redraw it Oop, with my Pen. up here I'm going to redraw the frame put his arms a little more down and then now I have another frame and now I'm going to draw another one again by selecting this little plus icon you can do it a lot of different ways you know I could collect select this and then insert another frame that way or I can just press the plus icon I apologize that this is a little sloppy, a lot sloppy. Okay, so now I have a guy who does that. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the and the frames in reverse. So I'm going to go back to 6 and then paste it after. So basically, it, I'm just going to reverse the animation that I've already done so that his arms go back up. So let's see how that looks. Not amazing, but it's okay. So now I'm going to make, so that's, that's actually good. That's, this is the basic process. So, um, I'm going to copy this again and then paste a couple more just so I have 12. It's not a very good animation. In fact, it's terrible, but 
this shows you the process so now I'm gonna go here and make a movie and I'm gonna just name it test 3 that's fine if you have the paid version you don't have to have the watermark um, but you can turn the watermark on and off there I have mine set to off I'm gonna leave it in the format of mp4 1080 that's fine and now I'm gonna make a movie now it's exported you can select any of these options um, to export your movie and it'll it'll walk you through that process if you have an Instagram or YouTube or whatever you want to share it to or if you want to share it on Facebook you can do it through there but that's the basic process uh, I hope this was useful to you and have a good day